Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I got another cool DIY project for you today. It's right here. It's the Rackamix from Racket in the UK. And if that sounds familiar, you might have recently seen the video where I made their Crackle Box kit. And this is kind of similar where it's a DIY kit, but this is a battery operated mixer and it's super useful. Now, let me just start by saying, uh, I was very impressed with the kit. I did a time-lapse video and I'll go ahead and put that on the screen for you. But it's really well laid out. Their instructions were really great. Um, it was all really nicely packaged. And they just have you start with, you know, you start with the PCB and you populate the jacks first. And then you go in and you put the ICs and the capacitors in. Then you go in and you put in all the resistors. And by the way, in this kit, all the resistors stand upright as opposed to being um, parallel to the board like they were in the previous kit. Um, and then after you do all that, you go back and you put in your switches and finally your potentiometers, um, of course your power interface as well. And then that's pretty much it. And it was very well laid out, very easy to follow. Now I have done a lot of DIY kits so I may be biased, but I feel like this would be a good one for a beginner if you haven't done a lot of those. It's just a really great, really intuitive little kit. And, and I really uh, appreciate these folks. I think they, they seem to make really great stuff from what I've seen so far. It's pretty well laid out. You've got your four knobs here, you know, for your four different channels. And then you've got a master output here. And then you've got a mute switch for each channel. So any channel you can just bam and mute it or back on. You've got four jacks for in here, you've got an output jack over here, and then you have an aux jack over here. Now, they technically call this a five channel mixer, it actually says on the front five channel mixer, but it's really a four channel mixer with an aux in. Now, the reason that's important, and one of the reasons I really love this thing, is if you needed eight channels, you just build two of these, and you just make to make a cable go from this one to your other one, and you can keep daisy chaining them together so you could easily make an eight channel or a 12 channel or a 16 channel mixer. And this thing is only, I think these were around 30 bucks, very, very inexpensive kit that you buy from their website. So, you know, you could actually have a pretty powerful mixer for not a lot of money and they're battery operated. That's what's so nice about these. So let's see the basics of how this works here. You flip on the power light and hopefully you can see the LED, that's of course, assuming you have a battery in it. And then each one of these, you know, again, mute, on or off, and then your level, and then you have your master level. So it's just very, very simple and straightforward, but insanely useful. Because if you've ever done any sort of audio experimentation, um, where you're looking at different sources and stuff, you always end up with a combination of mono and stereo signals. And then that always becomes a little tricky because you can have like a stereo sub mixer, but then what do you do with your mono channels? Do you have to duplicate them or what do you do? Or vice versa, you could have a, a big mono mixer, but then what do you do with those stereo channels? Do you take up two channels on the mixer or what are you gonna do with them? So there's always that. Well, what Racket did that I think is brilliant is all of these jacks are either TS or TRS. So in other words, mono or stereo eighth inch. But the way it works, and you might just be able to see here, it says RL for right, left down here, even though these are channels one and two, okay? Or excuse me, those are channels three and four. But um, so what you can do is if you want a mono channel, you just plug a, a TS source into here and it's a mono channel. If you have a TRS source, a stereo channel, you plug it into this one and it takes up this one and this one. So that means you can't use this jack, but you get both sides of the stereo signal on these two up here. So it makes it really easy to mix and match stereo. So. Again, when you're doing some, kind of some audio experimentation stuff, a lot of times you'll end up with just two stereo sources. This makes it very easy to do something like that. Or you may end up with a bunch of mono sources, three or four different mono sources. And again, this makes it very easy to do something like that because you've just got four mono jacks if that's what you need. Radio City, this is the National Broadcasting Company. Radio City, this is the National Broadcasting Company. But another common thing that happens is you end up having one stereo and one mono source, and that's always a pain in the butt to work with. Not with this, very, very simple. Or 
there's a lot of times you might have a couple mono sources and a stereo source. And of course, you know, that's one of those things where it's like, okay, what do I do? Well, with this, it's just very, very simple. Check one, two, three. 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 So make sure you check out Racket's website. I'll put their URL on the screen for you. And then I'll put the link of where you can buy this in the description, along with uh, the previous kit that I did. I'll put that video in there as well. So if you want to check that out, um, feel free. And uh, if you like my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will see you guys soon.